right. Oh, I hear some more people. Hey, Arlington. <laughs> Welcome to my wish. Hi. How's your day going so far? Good. How's yours? Going well, going well. Turn on your video so we can see you. We got Sage on here. We got Rico. Rico's been doing flips. Sage, like, what do you do? Do you do any, like, um, do you do any sports or anything like I that? I do sports. Uh-huh. I said I do sports. What kind? Tennis. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, I do it a little bit now, but when I was younger, my brother and I we would play tennis all the time. Hi, Sophia. All right, you guys, make sure you have your lunches already. We're going to get rocking and rolling, and you guys can share what you're eating. I see, Rico, you drinking a, what's that, a Capri Sun? Awesome. Um, I do a little bit now, but when I was younger, and I would play tennis all the time. All right. All right. All right, so I'm going to share my, well, actually, before I share my screen, um, I know, Sage, you said you're eating, you're eating, um, pizza. Uh-huh. Um, what else are you guys eating today? That was, uh, that was the thing that got me thinking that I wanted to get on the board, because I didn't like the way I wanted to do this. And, uh... Okay, what are you having to eat? I think we've done a better job with the boards than we've come since. Are we doing a video art activity? Oh, um, video slash art activity. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you eating today? Sophia. Oh, I'm not eating anything, anything right now. I'm thinking of what I'm going to eat. Okay. Okay, yeah, well, cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are going to get started. Yeah, Welcome to World Life with Coach for today. And if you have a lot of background noise, well, I guess that'll be the only time I want you to meet yourself. But um, but aside from that, I do want you guys to um, participate and be a part of our conversation and everything that we're doing today, okay? And um, just to show you all, I'm wearing um, this outfit, and it's from where we're going today. Do you guys remember where we're going today? Thailand. Now, you know what's so funny? I've had this for forever, and when I looked at where it's from, guess where it said it's made? Uh, Thailand. I was like, oh my gosh. So I was like, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pressing to go to the next slide. Hold on, you guys. Let's see if it'll work with me. <laughs> Okay, there. All right. So you guys are going to Thailand. Beautiful Thailand. And so um, today we're going to look at our world map. Uh, we're going to get familiar with that. We're going to look at um, the food. We're going to look at a video. Um, we're going to do some art. And I want to get some feedback from you guys today, too. Um, what do you guys, um, what do you guys like? Um, in our sessions, do you guys like when we talk about the food and what's your favorite section that we talk about? Hmm? 
So I know Rico and Sophia, you guys have been in here really quick. Yes, You guys like when we talk about like what do you like the most of everything that, was, that we that uh, we've done? Uh, board business. I would say the board. Which one? The art activity. Oh, you like the art activity? Okay. I have Anybody no else? Idea. He took his computer upstairs. What about you, Rico? The food. You like the food? Okay, nice. Okay, Sophia, what's your favorite part? About what? About our world language and class session. Oh, I like that um, we do the, um, we learn about new cultures and we do art. Okay, so the art, so it sounds like the art is the, 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 the top part. So I wanna leave more time. Wait, bro, are we gonna do like a game today, like a dance game? You know what? We can. Um, I was yeah. actually looking at some different dance um, videos and stuff, but it was- I also like music a lot too. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Okay, great. So I'll know how to, how to cater our, um, and tailor our session um, as well as we continue. Um, okay. So let's keep moving. Hi. Welcome. Who goes there? Welcome to Word Language. Hi, Gabriel. Hi, Joseph and Rain. Awesome. Welcome, you guys. Turn on unmute your unmute your video. Um, and uh, this is participation, so I want you guys to hop to participate. I want you to share. I want you to communicate. I want to see your face. I want to know what you're eating for today for lunch. Oh, Gabriel's having some chicken nuggets <laughs> with some dipping sauce. <laughs> All right. So welcome, you guys. Okay, so um, we have, um, as you see the continents here on the, um, on the map, um, and so um, we have North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, and Australia. Thailand, where do you guys think Thailand is? Okay, we're gonna do a computer exercise and then we're gonna do some work. Anybody can tell me, where do you guys think Asia, it's on the right side of Asia. Very good, yes, it sure is. And um, it is, um, let's see, let's see if we go back a little bit. Um, right um, over here is where Thailand is. So when you look at this closer up view, you see that Thailand is surrounded by Burma. It's surrounded by Lagos, Cambodia, Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia. Okay, so that's all nearby, all right? So if you look at, so one thing that we always need to be familiar with is, um, you know, when countries are near other countries, they have influences, so they influence each other. So um, Thailand being close to China, I mean, you could like just go straight up. And so you'll see in um, similar food, similar, some similar things amongst the different countries as, um, as they, as you kind of travel to nearby ones nearby countries. I've traveled to Indonesia. That's awesome. That's awesome. Wonderful. Yeah, didn't sure we want to do that? Bali is in Indonesia. Oh. Did you guys know that already? That Bali was in Indonesia? All right. We learned something today. We learned some more stuff. And Bali, I think, is one of, one of the places, too, that, we may, that we'll be able to go to as well. Yeah, I, I requested it. Yes, you sure did request it. And for um, like Arlington, Gabriel, I know today is you guys' first time um, here. So um, I for sure want you to um, share with me places that you want to travel to because oh, no, no. you can. Um, Michaela Granados, hey, welcome. Um, you can share with me places that you want to travel to so that um, we can actually yeah, go there, not, okay? But usually right. it does. Okay, so in Thailand, um, there are about 67 million people. The very nature of Thai, um, uh, the people is called the land of smiles. And so when you go to um, Thailand, they are, they love to smile. Um, they love being happy. And so when you go there, you want to smile. Um, and um, in my research, um, they said when you greet someone, you can give them a bow. Um, when you put your hands together like this and bow, or you can even, um, like if you're saying hello to a friend versus someone who is older or is an elder or someone who is like a, a monk or someone who is like a priest. So if you're saying hi and you don't know who that person is, 
you just would give them like, you would just put your hands like this and just give them a slight bow. If it's your friend, you would put your, like your hand on your chin and like here, and then someone more that you respect. And like, if it's like a, a monk or a priest, then you would put it on your, on the top of your head. And so that's just all of, out of respect. Um, but yeah, but that's just some, some ways to greet in, um, in Thailand. And so, um, so yeah. All right, when you're traveling, the capital is called Bangkok. Can anybody say what is, what is this um, right under it? What do you think that says right there? It says blank blank in Bangkok. Huh? Tuk Tuk. Yeah, good job, Tuk Tuk. So Tuk Tuk is the name of this like taxi um, right there. Um, and so um, this is one of the ways you can get around in. And so, um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Would be, um, uh, you can even do a taxi, you can even do a tuk-tuk, um, you can do bicycle. Um, all those awesome ways are great ways to get around in. I'm muted, right? Huh? I'm muted, right? If you said it right? Who said, say that again? This isn't who? This isn't who? I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is Andrew? Alayla, I see you. Ernest, Gabe. Real Arlington, Rain, Sage. Uh, let's see, Michaela, Joseph, Sophia, Rico. You guys are all up in here. Come on, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so in Thailand, what do you guys notice in the pictures? What do you guys notice? Hmm? What do you guys notice? They're all smiling. They're all smiling. Anything else? Like with this picture over here, what do you guys notice? What do you guys notice about like how they're eating? They're eating together. They're eating together, right? And you notice like they all have one big meal in the middle and then they're like putting that you know, they're scooping up from the, from the middle and putting it onto their own plate. So they're sharing, they're all sharing. So remember when we were in Kenya and we were in France and we were in um, Hawaii and you know, it's all about family coming together, eating together. Um, it's the same thing in, in Thailand. So they love to eat together and share because it's all about community. It's all about them being together and, um, and being together as a family. So, so there's a lot of that in Thailand. So, um, official language Which in is Thailand is Thai. Can anybody, can everybody say Thai? Thai. Thai. Can I have some other people say Thai? Good job. Thai. Come on in. Yes. All right. So, there's certain words and phrases in Thai. When you are a man or a young man, you're going to say pra. And for the women, you're going to say ka for the endings of certain words. Okay, so you guys will see as we go through, you'll add the prep ending to, to the end of the word. If you're a guy, if you're a guy, you're gonna say it. And if you're a woman, you're gonna add ka on the end of it, okay? Mm -hmm. So this one for men, they're gonna say, um, to say hello in Thai, you're gonna say sawadi krap if you're a man, right? And if you're a woman, you're gonna say sawadi ka. If you're if you're a woman, Thank you. okay. So can I have you guys try it? So let me see, let me hear you try it. Sawadika. Sawadika. All right. Awesome. Anybody else? Oops. Okay. Okay. What about um someone else? Someone else, give it a try. We're saying hello in. I can see and see something. So, sawari krap for a man, and sawari ka. And then remember, we talked about our accent, right? Right. So we're not gonna be like sawari krap. No, we're gonna be sawari krap, sawari krap, or sawari ka, right? So you wanna say it, but then you're gonna say it faster, so it sounds more authentic, right? So if you're a woman, you're gonna say sawari ka. 
Well, you can show them to me. Oh, what do you want to see Okay. <laughs> Joseph, I see you trying it. <laughs> Good job. As we're doing these words, I want you to choose one word that you're going to remember for when we get to the end, okay? So remember one, choose one that sticks out to you or that you that you like. All right. To say water in um, in Thai, you're going to say nam. 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 All right. Noodles is guy. Guy. Can I hear you guys say those? Nam and guy. So nam. So uh, let me grab my let me grab my nam. So as you guys are at home, you can say, you know, I'm gonna grab my mm, my nam. Are you guys drinking nam every day? Yes. Are we thinking drinking what? Nam. That's water in Thai. So nam. Water. Yeah. Rico, are you drinking water? Are you drinking nam? Yeah. Now. And then who had some who had some guy? Um, this past week. Noodles. Uh huh. Noodles? Anyone? I had some yesterday night. <laughs> All right, come on. That's good. Okay. So we have nam and guy for nam for water, guy for noodles. All right. Kabun krap. Kabun krap means. What are you doing? All right. Why do you do it? All right. Okay. What? Not for um, for thank you. And then we have women. For thank you for women. So can I have a lady to say for thank you? All right, and can I have a guy who, who, who say kabun krap? Kabun krap. All right, so that means thank you in Thai. Let me know though before you submit it. I want to check it out. And then we have your welcome <laughs> is my pen rai. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my pen right and then you have i like how you guys are saying it, and you're saying it kind of fast too so it sounds like you're authentic like you're authentic time my pen right my pen <laughs> good job good job all right what's the word that stood out to you guys that my pen right my pen right so when you see someone you're gonna say you're welcome so like when you're at your house right now you guys you can say to your your parents say you know and they're like oh thank you you then you're gonna say my pen right you're welcome right or if you're gonna say thank you to them and you're a guy you're gonna say kabun kra or if you're a girl you're gonna say kabun ka and what about water do you guys remember what water is um nam nam good job what about noodles hi yeah. Wonderful for you guys. You guys are jamming. Okay, let's go back one more. Um, hello is sawari krap for a man. Sawari ka for a girl. All right. Okay. So remember whatever phrase that you liked, hold on to it, okay? Because we're going to practice some more later on at the end. Food, food time, come on now. Your Pad Thai is like one of the like best food in um, Thai food. Have you guys been to like Thai restaurants? One time. Oh, but I've been to Japanese and Chinese. Yeah, you guys have been? Oh man, so good, yeah. so good. So they have 
Thai. And so the, the Pad Thai has tofu, it has noodles, it has, you know, the different seasonings, the garlic, the fish sauce, chili peppers, all that good stuff in there. Um, the green, the Thai curry. Ha ha ha. I had some Thai curry the other day. It was so good. I've heard so, of curry, but not Thai yeah. curry. Mm -hmm. And so when you go to the places, so when they say, um, if you want green curry, um, sometimes, most of the time they'll have yellow curry, but if it's green curry, it's because of the green chilies in it. That's what makes it green. And then they put coconut milk in there. And the curry is, is a, is a type of seasoning because even in the Caribbean, we have curry. Um, and actually we have Indians that are, that are in the Caribbean. So they were migrated to the Caribbean as well. And so that's why we have curry there, but you know, they have these green, green papaya salad, thumb thumb, and then you have Tom Yam Gong. Um, so you hear, you hear my accent, Tom Yam Gong. Tom, Tom Yam, Tom Yam Gong. Tom Yam Gum or Gong? Gong. Mm -hmm. Tom Yam Gong. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Tom. So these are all great ways. Um, some food. Traditional markets are good spots to eat Thai food. Um, and of course, rice is their imported crop. Um, their most exported crop, I'm sorry, um, everywhere. And of course, like seafood too, right? Because they're close to the water and all that good stuff, right? Okay, so we are going to, I want you to grab your, your, your art pads. Look, in the meantime, I'm going to go grab my, my food from the, from the kitchen. Um, but grab your art pads um, and I'm going to, we're going to start doing some art and um, I'm going to put on the video as we're doing the art because we're gonna see um, one of my favorite um, guys, his name is Mark Weens and he travels to Thailand and he's actually gonna show us some of the food that they eat there. And he does a really awesome food tour and travels. So I'm gonna put on some, I'll put on some music as we go and you can grab your iPad in the meantime and and we'll be um, we'll be rocking. If you're looking to tone up, uh -oh. oh, and I want you guys to show me your art from from over the weeks, like in in the notepad. Like I have like we huh? are for like three four weeks now. So I want you guys to show me what you got. starting from the right and working the way open. That was yes. You got lucky. Yeah, I got lucky. 
Did you guys get your art? Um, so I can't find my pad, so I just got a scratch piece of paper. That's okay. That's fine. Do you guys remember this from week one? Show me your stuff from week one. Show me your art stuff. I don't think I was here for week one. Okay, and that's okay. That is all right. Um, let me pull up the video here. So while we're while this is pulling up, this one in Thai culture they do a lot of bright colors and um, and in this video that we're going to watch it's going to be um, we're going to just do pieces of it we're not going to do the whole thing um, um, because in your spare time, I want you to check him out. He's really, really cool. And he like, he travels everywhere and he eats the food. Like he goes to, you know how you get like street food? So like you go and you get like the corn on the cob. Do you guys like the corn on the cob? Like um, from the little corn lady? Have you guys ever done that? The corn person? What are some like foods that you guys like to eat? Like when you're out and about, like, you know, like hot dogs or they have like the popcorn person. Um, Sushi. I like to eat sushi, but sushi is really, really expensive. It is expensive. It is expensive. Um, and that's something you would get, um, like, at a, um, you know, when you're at the rest, like, if you're at a restaurant, for sure. But sushi is totally, um, it is good. Um, um, of course, you'll have your Chab -chab taste. Chabu, then. You'll have your taste of it, because um, everybody's not a sushi eater. But... Um, Whatever you like is great. I, I also like shabu shabu. What's shabu shabu? Shabu shabu is it's Korean, I think. Ooh. All right. Korean food. So let's watch, let's watch this one. But right, isn't shabu shabu Korean? That's. I think it's Japanese. Oh my. Definitely not Japanese. I know that. All right, so you, do you guys see my screen with the video starting up? Plus, Mom. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Bangkok, Thailand, and today we're going to a, a Khao Rat Gang restaurant, which is a rice and curry restaurant, and it's one of the most common, one of the most typical lunches, everyday meals in Thailand. But the unique thing about the place that we're going to go is that it might be the cheapest all-you-can-eat buffet in Thailand, in Bangkok, maybe that I've ever seen because it's all you can eat rice and curry for 40 baht, which I just did the conversion is exactly a dollar 29. So we're on our way to the buffet. I'm going to show you all the food. We're going to try to taste every single dish. I'm going to share all with you in this video. Wow. And you guys, he goes everywhere and eats the food. Like I would One love his job. Ironic things about would you like his this, job? Uh, all you can eat. And all you can eat. And he gets paid for it. Okay. Um, actually, he does. Um, he calls right he's a blogger, and this is his. This is what he does for a living. Um, I would, but I feel like I, I would. Get <laughs> huh? I'd rather uh, earn a bit more money. I want to earn a lot of money. Would you say I you? Hold... I want to earn oh, a yeah, lot of he money. He earns a lot of money. He does. Yeah. Just yeah, he blogging. does. Park, He's been doing this for a Central while. Parks in downtown Bangkok. A lot of people come here to jog, to exercise, uh, to to get some fresh air. And then he was telling me a lot of people after they finish their jog, and they come to eat the buffet, right? <laughs> that is uh, possibly a little bit ironic, but I like, like that. I would I would definitely do that, too, if I lived in this area. So you guys can see what, that's what Bangkok looks like. Whoa. So we made it. Sweaty walk. It's not even that hot of a day. It's a cloudy day, but it is humid. 
this is the spot in Thai, but it's a cool buffet. In addition to joggers, because maybe the, actually they open at the museum, so maybe the joggers, the exercise, uh, they come in a year. But in addition to a lot of joggers, a lot of van drivers, you'll see a lot of van drivers, a lot of motorbike drivers. Oh, no, I'm already in. Oh, no, 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 mom, no. You would not think to do that. There's like a lot. Pork belly. They even have a salmon soup going. And it's all you can eat. So I'm going to start. It's already starting to get busy. It's only 11 a.m. We're here early. Uh, but this is a good time to come because the food is fresh. And it's not as busy as it will be probably in an hour. What's amazing is you know you're getting freshly cooked food because he's cooking it right here as it's being served. And as dishes run out, he cooks new dishes. Uh, as dishes, he replenishes dishes. He cooks new dishes. They keep rotating dishes, but they're fresh, they're hot. And what's good about this place also is there's continuously, since they open, there's continuously a line of people that come to eat here. So the food, the rotation, the turnover is so high, it's fresh. I can't wait to eat. Okay, I'm gonna grab a plate. So I'll go with just plain white rice first. Gonna do a lot of rice. For my first, first round one. There's probably about a dozen dishes. We're gonna taste all of them. Okay, this one is almost out, so I'll take a scoop of this. This is pad pop sai kai, pad kai, with uh, it's a type of gourd. This one is almost done, so I better get a little bit of this. There's some basil. I think that's chicken as well. This is uh, green curry with beef and eggplant. This looks really good. Look at that color. So that's like that's green curry. That's kind of the centerpiece of this place, the kiwan. So you can see the whole thing. Okay, fried chicken. And then all the pakwun sen. Pakwun sen, which is stir fried mung bean noodles. I can only fit one more dish. Uh, fried sausage, stir fried sausage. Mm. Oh man, I think plate number one is full. <laughs> we'll have to come back for the rest of the dishes. Have a couple plates. Wow. Okay, one more step. The chilies are approaching the end, but we can fish out a few of the chilies. This is Pekampala, which is fish sauce and chilies. Okay, there's not a whole lot, so we'll have to we'll have to do with that, I guess. So we can get one more dish. He said it's just boiled beef, but this is like kind of their soup. Mm. Um, you can see there's lemongrass in here. Oh, this looks amazing. Oh, wow, look at all that meat, too. Could you imagine, like, you guys, like, you're and you're out and about with your family. You're like, oh, let's go get really some good. food. And you, like, really choose from really all, good. you have all these choices. Yes. No matter where I eat, these are the type of places I come back to. These are the type of places I love not only the food, but the atmosphere, the ambience, the people. This is like gets me psyched and pumped every single time. This table is a little bit on the, the rickety side. It's it's on the slant. Uh, but one more thing I forgot to get. I'll just leave my backpack here. Uh, Self-service. So All self-service tea. tea. Okay, I'm going to begin with that. I want to have a green curry is right on top. There's eggplant in here. There's Thai eggplant. There's chilies. Look at that nugget of beef. First bite of the buffet. Um. Mm. That's pretty awesomely good. Um, <laughs> it's not really heavy on the coconut milk. It's a little watery, but the flavor is good. Uh, the kung kang, the curry paste is good. It's a little bit spicy, um, and it's not too sweet. I like it. Also, in the Genkyo Wan, the green curry, you taste a little bit of uh, chai, which is finger root. I think that's coming from the, or could have been from another dish that I, I put next to the green curry. But anyways, I'm pretty sure it's in the green curry. You taste the chai, which gives it an extra edge of like gingery earthiness. Okay, moving on. Uh, what next? Let's move into that. That egg stirred fried with the bua which it's some type of, I can't remember the name in English. Mm. Mm -hmm. A simpler dish, it, it is a kind of like zucchini-like and it's stir fried with egg. So it has kind of those like, like soft, slightly slimy texture is good. Okay, next okay. up for the 
So he's eating, he's gonna like work his way and eat through all this like good stuff. He he eats, he eats great. There's some more curry. Yeah. Why? All right. So okay. we're gonna pause our video here. And um for our for our art. I want us to, we're going to pull up, um, let me pull it up. I'm going to go get scratch. Oh, here it is. So we're going to do some of our, um, some of our art here. And I want you guys to look at, um, um, Thailand is, um, is known for its um, elephants, you guys. Um, and it's also known for its Siamese cats and just its beautiful islands. And um, so we have this, um, we're gonna go from this uh, picture here. Let's do that. And so I want you to imagine that you're there on that boat. And um, they say in this um, here that they filmed this in a lot of movies. And so it almost looks like, um, what kind of movie do you guys think it looks like? I'll tell you what I think it is, but what movie do you think it looks like that they're in? Like um, a movie that you think this picture may have been in. Any, any sure guesses? Green? Huh? I can't see anything. You can't see anything? Okay, hold on. Let me back up. Thank you for saying that so that I can make sure. That... Okay. Oh, you were just seeing my face. You weren't seeing the screen. <laughs> uh, here. Right, it's coming. So when you see this picture pop up, um, this is going to be our art activity um, for you to draw um, how, what? like, I want you to imagine that you're in the boat, huh? that you're in the boat there. What boat? I don't know because then um, they didn't say anything about today. Okay, hold on. Uh, like when I was on it? You guys see that boat? Yes, yes I do. Okay, I can see great. it. Let me put it on. Hi, put it on the big screen. Unless I'll make me sound the way it's now. And guy. So imagine that you're there on that boat. How do you feel on that boat? Like, what do you want to draw when you're on that boat? Noodles. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I know you maybe you have some like noodles sitting right next to you. Like, can I see the boat? Do you guys prefer this picture or you like the other picture? Other picture. Oh, this one, this one, this one, this one. I like the other picture. Oh man. Like well, you know, let's what? see. What? What'd you say? <laughs> I like this one. I like this one. The other well, one. So seeing that, seeing that you guys both like them, so look at this one for a little bit, and then I'm gonna go to the other one, and you can look at that one too. Okay. But I was gonna draw the boat, and I can, I cannot see everything on the boat. Yeah. Well, well, because we want to make it fair for everybody, we're gonna. So look at this one for a little, a little bit, envision it. Look at how you, you're gonna draw that picture there of the front, okay. and then the mountains, and then I'm gonna go to the other photo as well. Or can I just copy this picture? Um, well, did you get it in your mind's eye? We no. Can go back, we can go back to it. <laughs> well. Hot noodles. Oh, 
Okay, there's the picture there. So let's draw that, you guys. No, I like actually the other one. Well, let's start with this one first, and then I'll I'll bounce between the two. Hello. Hold on. Guys, can I do the other one? Oh my god. You didn't do my hair. Rogers has okay. film right now. Okay. Yeah, you didn't do my hair. And then you just told you you have seven assignments. You're just doing your English. How about your social studies? Okay, well, go ahead and draw that one, you guys. Okay. Okay. Let's skip to John. How's Thailand spelled again? How do I tell her though? Okay, so Mr. So far, I'm almost done. Oh. <laughs> I don't see them. No. I'm just going to do hashtag Thailand and then do a lot of stuff that I learned in the background. That'd be great. Make it creative, make it whatever you want it to be. Okay. Well, that looks good. For the boat. So far, I only have this. Okay, so you got your square. I see it. <laughs> Okay, it's a All right, so let me draw. How's, how's the rest of you guys coming along? Joseph, how are you coming? I'm here. Okay. And Rain, Ernest, Arlington, how are you guys coming? I'm drawing the water and stuff. Hey. Okay. Um, Gabriel, how about you? Arlington, how are you coming? Feel good. Okay, watch me. Man, if I was on that boat, I would be like sleeping. And just like, well, I think I would have, I think I would have like jumped in the water and swam for a little bit. And then, um, and well, then. Well, what if there's like, like stuff in the water though? Well, remember, you could see everything that's in the water because look how clear it is. You would see everything swimming around in there. <laughs> when I was in Bali, um, when I was in Bali though, there was like this kind of like a river. Yeah. There was a bunch of stuff in there and you did not want to no. go in. I think in Cancun one time, mm -hmm. um, we there was a river right next to like this um, buffet at the top, and then this yes. wine tasting thing at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And my mom and my mom's friends were at the wine tasting. So me and my friends were over um, near the river, and we were just looking down at it. Mm -hmm. And then a bunch of snails just started rising up, and we didn't know, but there was an alligator in this exact same river. <laughs> everybody started freaking out. Like yeah. everybody's like, "There's an alligator in the river." <laughs> you gotta be careful. Well, and and you guys too. Like, um, you know, when you're in a natural like setting, you know, the animals are there. Just like if you're outside, you know, of course you're gonna meet some worms. You're gonna see some squirrels. You're gonna see like, you know, um, Mother Nature, yeah. huh? Mother Nature. You're gonna see Mother Nature. You're gonna see all the animals, all the all that stuff. So we're in their space. So we have to be mindful and um, you know work with the animals and and be mindful of them too. You know. So mm -hmm. 
So yeah, so all those things we have to consider when you're traveling as well, okay? Um, and also a tip when you travel, you also want to make sure that you like you don't you're not too flashy. You know, when you travel, you don't like wear like your best jewelry. Like I'm wear all my jewelry. I'm gonna wear all my rings. You know, because there's some people that are you know that are they don't have good intentions. So you always want to make sure you kind of blend in with wherever you are, right? They say do as the Romans do, right? So when you're in Rome, cool. you want to look like you're, oh my god, right? You don't want to look like you're, that like you're, that like you're, um, as much as they know you probably are tourists, you don't want to look like I'm a tourist. Like you have a big hat, you have a big, what are you doing with you know, the computer? You have a whole lot of stuff. You know, you don't want to have like a whole lot of stuff. You want to have like a small backpack or like a little, you know, or like your, your, um, oh gosh, what is it? your fanny pack. You know, you want to have that. So something really light, really small. All right, how are you guys' pictures coming along? Not like this big old Gucci purse that costs like $5,000. Some people are unfortunate and they can't afford that stuff. So you yeah. don't want to be mean and start bragging and boasting about your good stuff when um, unfortunate people don't have it. You're absolutely right, Sage. Oh my goodness, you hit it right on the head. Um, you don't want to carry your Gucci, your Fendi, and your, your uh, Louis Vuitton. Um, <laughs> you know just like walking around no you want to you want to blend in with the locals okay and um and of course like if you're going to like a like a dinner party that night then of course you know you may have like a little clutch that's cute um or maybe you would wear your purse then but if you're like walking in the street and you're like like how mark weens was eating food from the you know just out on the street out with friends you don't want to be all like fancy wearing heels and stuff you want to put on some flats you want to put on some comfortable shoes that you can walk around have like a a small backpack have your slinky um your to the side your satchel on the side or like your your fanny pack you can do that okay? sort of like and china or japan they wear those um they're sort of like little jackets mm -hmm. jackets they're like jackets and dresses mixed together yeah. and uh, one time i went there and i saw this person Mm -hmm. um, they have Louis Vuitton and Gucci on them, and I was wondering, <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to wear that here. I thought you were supposed to blend in and not wear all that expensive stuff. Depending on where you are, they're very fashionable. So, um, so, so that's why it's important for you to learn about where you're going, because if they are fashionable, like if you go to Paris yeah. and you're going to a special event, oh, you know, Paris. of course they want you to doll it up. Yeah, you want to doll it up. You want to look fancy, you know. But then, like during the daytime, you may be, you may not look all like super fancy and overdressed, right? Yeah. So place in the time, right? Uh huh. All right, my picture's kind of coming together a little bit. I don't know about you guys. You finished yours? That's great. No, it's I want to see you guys. It's almost done. Okay, that's good. Remember, even if you don't finish in this time frame, we can, um, you can finish for next time and show me, I want to see, I want to see all you guys' like drawings and art pieces put together when we're all done with everything. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to switch to the, for us to see some more of our fun facts down below. Okay, so for the most part, everybody's kind of like been working on their picture. They have it in their, in their mind's eye. So they can keep drawing. Oh, I was wondering how I was going to do that. Okay, so we're going to keep going to the next one. The next, um, this island here is called James Bond Island. <laughs> very, very small. <laughs> yes, it sure is. It sure is. So it's called James Bond Island. And um, this down here, um, so when you go to Thailand, they have a lot of temples, a lot of temples. And it's known for um, North Thailand has a lot of hill tribes, adventure and elephants. It's um, called Chiang. And so um, when you see the festival of the lanterns, they do this there. Oh, yeah. So a lot of people. Mm hmm it's like they have this lantern and then like they put a wish in it with um a lighter yeah. and then you float up and then you're um about a year or two you're mm -hmm. uh, 
Your wish or dream will come true. There you go. And so they do this there. And then in um, Chiang Rai, then it has more landscape. It's more about oh. the, the scene, the scenic view, the hillside, the, the land. That's and yellow and green. Isn't that so pretty? Yeah. It's like blue, yellow, and green all together. Yeah, it really is. It really is. And then um, this area here is known for um, is known for its floating markets, right? So they're so literally they're in these boats and they are selling. So you can like go and and meet them and buy what you need. And then um, at this national park, Shao Mai, um, it's the park for elephants, um, and they have lots of natural forests and waterfalls and bird watching and the, the elephants are in their natural habitat. So you can like see the animals out there just like being, being animals. So really, really cool. And then we have, um, um, like I said, Thailand is known for the elephant. It's the land of the elephant. And what is Thai for a Buddhist temple? So what? And then, what are these, you guys? Hey, Jason. Yeah. You don't have any more of that wine what are these? that I like. Uh -huh. Huh? The one that you opened the other night? Yeah. I don't What's know. The I have a case in the garage that I can look uh -oh. for. I ended up buying some old wine with something. Siamese cats? Siamese cats, yes. I, I, I used to have one. Oh, wow. It died. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. Do some people have these type of cats? They do. They do. Actually, they, the Siamese cat came from Thailand. And Thailand before was known as the Kingdom of Siam. So that's why I bought the Siamese cat. I, uh, my Siamese cat had like so much of a blue eyes that um, we thought it, my mom was like, Oh, such a little good girl. And then when we, they went to test what it was, the blue eyes didn't mean anything because it was a boy. And she kept saying, oh, what a little good girl. And oh. it was all just a boy. And it was a boy. Yeah. Well, that's the natural color of their eye, if you're a boy or girl. All right, next thing. Oh, they say if you give someone a Siamese cat um, to a bride on her wedding day, it's a sign of good luck. Um. Thailand has 1,430 islands, 35,000 temples, and oh. 6 hey. million tourists visit the country every year, and they travel to Bangkok. So where Mark Weens was in Bangkok, people travel there, and it's surrounded by Myanmar, Laos, Lagos, um, Cambodia, and Malaysia. Cambodia. Yeah. All right, so to review some of our greetings. Oh, yes, yes, yes. All right, so you guys remember, what was your favorite one? What was your favorite, what was your favorite um, word? My favorite was water and noodles. Nice. So how are you? So when you're around the house and you're going to say, mom, can I have some, some water? You're going to say, mom, can I have some numb? Ah. Right. So don't just say, don't say water, say numb. And then I, I assure you, she'll learn, she'll learn how to say it as well. So you'll be teaching your mom, you're teaching your family. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then you're going to say, man, mom, can I have some, some guy tonight? Some guy, some guy. So, you, so it's not, um, so you hear the accent, guy and then numb. Yeah. All right. Anybody else? What word did you, what was your favorite? What was your favorite? What was your favorite word that you're going to be using um, this week? Anybody else want to share? One of my other favorites uh -huh. was um, your welcome. Yeah. Oh, was the your you're welcome? Yeah. So my was that? Oh, my thing is covering it up. What was it? So my pen ride. Oh yeah, my pen ride. My pen ride. 
Good job, you guys. All right, and just so you can see some of the ones from before. Um, our Kenyan greetings, do you guys remember some of these? Kabari, hello. Tafadali, please. Asanti sana. Thank you very much. Hapana. No. Dio. Yes. Okay. Right. And then when we were in France, salute is high. Merci. Merci. Thank you. Bonjour. Enchanté. Do the words underneath them help you guys to sound it out? Mm. Are they helpful? Yeah. Yeah? OK, good. <laughs> good, good, good. All right. So um, and then Hawaiian, when we were in Hawaii, <laughs> mahalo means thank you. All right, so you guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to send these um, pages that have the, the words on them. I'm gonna send it to your parents, okay? Um, and so you can look them over throughout the week. Um, you can practice them. Um, you know, you can call me on the office phone and let me know if you're like, Mr. Stout, I don't know how to say that, <laughs> okay? You can call me on the office phone, your parents have the number, okay? And um, and I want you to practice them because next week we are going to have we're going to play Jeopardy, okay? And it's going to be World yeah. Language and Culture Edition. All right, so we're going to have points. People are going to get points. People are going to get prizes. And we're going to have different questions, so it's not just going to be about the language. It'll also be about, like, the food. It'll be about the, the, the people. It'll be you about send us the whole the slide, then? I can. <laughs> you know what? I can see. Maybe I can see and send you guys. I'll see how I can send them to you guys. Um, but I'll send it. I'll send you. How about this? I'll see you look on the corner. It says share. Oh, on my on my screen? Yeah. So you can just say share. Well and then send it to our parents. So yes, I will share it with your parents. So you'll be able to see it and um and review it. And what I'll do is I'll send what we're gonna what will be on the game. So you'll know what you're practicing, okay? And you'll know it's almost like you'll know what's on the, the game. And um and so you're gonna be able to win prizes. So Please show up next week. We're going to do art. We're going to have lots of music. We're going to have a dance session. So get ready. Um, I know, Rico, you've been doing some flips over there. So you're going to want to see some more flips. Um, I want to see some of your moves. Um, and whatever your dance moves are, I want to see you jamming, rocking and rolling, grooving. Grooving with us. Who's a good dancer? Who are good dancers in here? I used to do ballet and tap. I do belt. I do ballet okay, right now. I, I, I've been doing ballet since I was really little, so. Awesome. Okay, Joseph, I saw you. I saw you unmute there for a second. All right, so bring your dance, bring your artistic skills next week, and we're going to play the games, and we're going to review our words, review about the languages, and have a good time, okay? And bring some more of your good food, okay? All right. Bye. Right. Bye. So, bye, you guys. Bye. See you next time, don't forget to bring your lunch. So you can share with us. All right. I also see you. Bye. Put some grass just so we can have something to do later. Put a little on the grass so we can have something to do later. <gasps> Oh, you guys just want to hang out? <laughs> All right, see you guys. See you next Friday.